Hey guys, FIFA Vic here with <laughs> sort of matching pack. Uh, now, basically, what is going to happen here, guys, is you haven't seen a, an episode of Matching Pack for a little while, and the reason for that is it has been cancelled. Like any uh, bad show on TV, uh, it has been cancelled. And uh, so what I'm going to do in this video is uh, I've got about 2,000 FIFA points uh, that I got specifically to do this series. Um, so in this video, you're just going to see me opening uh, 2,000 FIFA points worth of gold premium packs. And uh, you'll get to see what players I get in in the packs. Uh, we got Sturridge in the last pack, and uh, we already had him on matching pack. Uh, then what I'm going to do is, um, basically, I, just, I wasn't enjoying... Um, making or playing or recording editing match and pack basically guys it, it just felt like it wasn't going good um uh, initially it was like uh, very difficult because i didn't have a very good team at all and uh fifa's moved on so much fifa ultimate team from when i first did this in fifa 11 uh, it, it's much more much more competitive now, uh, much more sweaty. I don't like to use that word too much, but it, it sort of is. It's got a lot more sweaty with the divisions being there and stuff. And um, so basically, in the early part of match and pack, it was just ridiculously difficult to do uh, to play the matches and uh, play well and get wins and stuff. And um, I, and I came to the realization that uh, as it went on, once I'd got say a, say for example I had a fairly decent BPL team, the chances of getting a player in a pack that's gold, BPL, and better than what I already had was so minimal. It, the opening of the packs in the videos would become slightly ridiculous, slightly obscure, and then the games would be meaningless as, as a result of that because I'd be playing with a squad that I already had before I opened the pack previous. So the whole series was sort of coming apart at the seams. Um, then what happened about four or five days ago, um, they un they launched the 100k packs. I'm sure you saw several videos from people uh, putting videos up with the 100k pack. And I thought, oh, this is an opportunity to revive Match and Pack the series. And uh, so I uh, set everything up to do a Match and Pack. And the first pack of that video was going to be the 100k pack. And so I went in, I got some more points, I, I, da, 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 I opened the 100k pack, and uh, I looked at it, and there was some, enjoy, some all right players in it, it was fine, but then I, I turned to look at my computer, and for whatever reason, it happens very, very rarely, but I usually spot it, um, the El Gato recording had gone wrong, it had sort of frozen on the record screen, um, and it, so it didn't capture the 100k pack. And, you know, you know, paid actual money to open that pack. And then it didn't it didn't get recorded, so I couldn't put it in a video for you guys. And then I had all these players that I couldn't justify because I didn't have the footage of how I got them. And so the whole thing just became an absolute disaster. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on my Leeds United Manager mode. That is still going strong. I'm really loving making that. Um, and I know that a lot of you don't enjoy watching that, but I, I enjoy making it so much. I really want to make some strides into the um, manager mode sort of scene, if you like. You know, there's not that many people doing manager mode videos now. There's only a handful of people that do it consistently and regularly. So I would like to join that group of people, really, and um, you know, maybe get a long-running manager mode going uh, with Leeds United this time, and then and then straight away when FIFA 15 comes out. Like, literally launch from day one with a manager mode on that. I know there's a lot of you guys not wanting to hear that, but do not worry. Um, I will be doing something to replace match and pack. Now, initially, while I scratch around, uh, basically my uh, next-gen um, situation is that I'm waiting for the official, yes, um, PS4 definitely works on El Gato with no complications, no additional equipment, and no additional software or anything like that. Once I get confirmation that the PS4 is definitely working well with uh, with the Elgato, then that is I will go and I will go and get that PS4. And then so something possibly more got Bamayang in this pack was quite good. Um, something to, you know, and then something more substantial will possibly come once I've got PS4 
or Xbox One if PS4 thing doesn't work out. Uh, as once I've got next gen, then uh, you'll probably see something more substantial from me. But for now, uh, just next for the, certainly for the next couple of weeks, what I'm going to do is um, some just completely original, sort of different, random FIFA 14 Ultimate Team videos. Um, so stay tuned to find out what they're going to be like. And um, in the meantime, I'm going to be doing quite a quantity of the Leeds United Manager mode. I really want to crack on with that. Um, it's I'm really happy with how it's going. And uh, I think it's going to be really interesting. Like It's going to be such a challenge to get Leeds United back into like the top six of the Premier League. And maybe get if I can get them into Europe, I just think that would be awesome. So that is my goal with that. In these packs, guys, and this is possibly another problem with matching pack, EA are so tight with what you get in the pack. They totally need to adjust what you get in the packs. These packs are 7,500 coins. In this entire pack opening, where I open loads of packs, to be fair, for genuine money, there isn't a single player worth 7,500 coins in this entire pack opening. And I'm sorry that the the players are rubbish in the packs, but I, I literally don't know how many packs I'd have to open to get one decent player. It's crazy. I've been Vivek. Thanks for watching.